بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان دس لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی وولٹیج سیریز فیڈ بیک سرکٹ اور وولٹیج سیریز فیڈ بیک ایمپلیفائر ان دا پریویس لیکچر وی اسٹڈیڈ دیٹ دا فرسٹ ٹرم انڈیکیٹس دی ٹائپ آف سیمپلنگ اینڈ وی آلسو اسٹڈیڈ دیٹ سیمپلنگ ٹیکس پلیس ایٹ دی آؤٹ پٹ سائڈ آف دی فیڈ بیک ایمپلیفائر سو وی کین سیفلی سی دیٹ ایٹ دی آؤٹ پٹ سائڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ہیو وولٹیج ان اے وولٹیج سیریز فیڈ بیک Now we also said that the second term indicates the mixing and we said that the mixing takes place at the input side and whenever we have series this series indicates that the feedback signal is in series with the input signal so this series indicates that the feedback signal is in series with the input signal the term series here indicates that the feedback signal feedback signal is, is in series with the input signal and we know that voltage is divided uh, is voltage is subtracted or added in series so that's why whenever we have the second term series when we, whenever we have series mixing at the input side we are going to have voltage because voltage is added or subtracted in series so that's why here i am going to have output as voltage and the input is also is going to be voltage source so let me connect a voltage source over here so i am going to connect a voltage source over here this is vs and my input is going to be a voltage source which is vi again at the output i am going to have a voltage source again so let this be my voltage source which is v not now in every circuit we have an amplifier component and a feedback component now because we have series voltage series feedback we have series mixing so the feedback is in series with the input component so we are going to have a series connection over here so we can connect this by a series and and also i'm going to take a part a part of output and connect it to the input so i'm going to simply take a part of output and connect it to the input So now this configuration of my voltage series feedback is complete. Now we have VI over here. Uh and then this amplified over here. So at the output V not V not is going to be equal to AVI. Now because we have a feedback voltage and that feedback voltage is going to be equal to VF. So here the VI is going to be equal to VS minus VF. So VI is going to be equal to VS minus VF, and this A is going to be equal to output by input. So this is going to be equal to V naught by VI, and this beta and this VF is going to be equal to what? This VF is going to be equal to the feedback factor multiplied by the output quantity, which is V naught, which is the voltage. So beta is going to be equal to VF by V naught. So this is the complete circuit of why my voltage series feedback configuration. Now let us find the gain with feedback for this voltage series feedback configuration. Again, the gain without feedback that we denoted by A will be equal to V naught by V S or V naught by V I because in this case without any feedback V S will be equal to V I. So let me name it as equation one because A is equal to V naught by V I. Now with feedback. let me name gain with feedback as af when we have a feedback over here in that case i am going to have vi is equal to vs minus vf and we also know that this v not is equal to avi so then sorry this vi is equal to vs minus v not so v not is equal to avi as we have written over here then place of vi i am going to replace vs minus vf which means that v not will be equal to a v s minus a v f where v f is the feedback voltage and v f is equal to beta times the v not where beta is the feedback factor so we are going to have v not is equal to a v s minus a into beta times v not so let me uh Uh, let me get this to the left side so we are going to have v not plus a into beta 
v naught is equal to a into v s. Let me take v naught common from here. So this will be v naught one plus beta a is equal to a into v s. Which means that the gain with feedback, which is equal to v naught by v s, will be equal to a divided by one plus beta a. Here, this a is the gain with feed without feedback. This a is gain without feedback. Gain without feedback, and this a f is the gain with feedback. Gain with feedback. If we can have a look in the voltage uh, series configuration in the voltage series amplifier, the gain with feedback is less by the factor of one plus beta a. So with feedback, the going gain is going to be reduced by a factor of one plus beta a. Okay, let us find the input impedance for this voltage series feedback configuration. So I have already drawn the equivalent circuit. This is the equivalent circuit of the operational amplifier. So in this circuit. In place of operational amplifier, and are the op and in place of any amplifier, I have replaced this circuit. The input impedance, the output impedance, and the uh, V naught, which is equal to A V R. So now here, the input impedance without feedback is equal to V I by I I, and the input impedance with feedback is going to be equal to V S by I I. So we are going to find Vs by I I, and again here we have Z I is equal to V I by I I. Whenever we have a feedback, this V I is going to be equal to V S minus V F, as we have stated earlier that V I is equal to V S minus V F. So this V I is going to be equal to V S minus V F. So I can write V S minus V F divided by I I. So Z I is equal to V S. Minus V F divided by I I. Now V F is equal to beta V naught. So let me replace V F with beta times V naught. So this will be V S minus beta times V naught divided by I I. Now this V naught is actually equal to A into V I. So I am going to replace this V naught by A into V I. So this means that this is equal to I I into Z I is equal to V S minus beta times A into V I, which means that V S is going to be equal to I I Z I plus beta times A into I I Z I. Now we know that Z I F is equal to V S divided by I I. I am going to take I I common from this side. So this will be I I that I plus beta times A that I. So V S by I I is going to be equal to Z I plus beta times A into Z I. And this V S by I I is equal to the input impedance with feedback. So this will be equal to zi, and let me take zi common from here. So we are going to have one plus beta a. So the input impedance has been increased by a factor of one plus beta a. The voltage series feedback increases the input impedance by the factor one plus beta a. Now to find the output impedance. For the output impedance, again. We need to short out the input circuit, the input voltage. So in this case, we are going to short out the voltage source, which is the input source. So V S must be equal to zero. When V S is equal to zero at the output, we are going to have. If you look at this circuit, if we short circuit this thing, this circuit is going to be. This circuit is going to be no more. So we are going to have, for example, at the output this V, this will be equal to A V I plus the current flowing over here. So in this case, for the output impedance, we are going to have. Let's suppose it is equal to the V. So V is going to have e e equal to I into Z naught plus A V I. 
because the other part this left side part has been sorted out so there is nothing over here only we see this part so then we are going to have v is equal to for example at the output we have v so v, v is going to be equal to i z naught plus a v i and again we know that we have vs minus vi is equal to vs minus vs again vs is shorted out which is vs is equal to 0 so vi is going to be equal to minus vs so which means that v is going to be equal to i z naught minus a v f and we know that this v f is going to be equal to v is equal to i z naught minus a beta times the output voltage but now we have taken the output voltage as v so this will be beta times v which means that we are going to have uh, let me shift it to the left side so we are going to have v plus beta times a v equal to i z naught so this will be equal to this will be equal to v 1 plus beta a into i that naught which means that v by i will be equal to let me write over here which means that v by i is going to be equal to that naught divided by 1 plus beta a and this v by i is actually now my output impedance so the output impedance has been decreased by a factor of 1 plus beta i. When voltage series feedback the input impedance has been increased by a factor of 1 plus beta i and the output impedance has been decreased by a factor of 1 plus beta i. 